Hi, this is Brian. Welcome back to another micro class. This one's on learning. Enemy number one. It's inspired by how we learn. Benedict Carey. Awesome look at the uh, surprising science of uh, how we learn best. Learning enemy number one is called the fluency illusion. The fluency illusion is what cognitive scientists who study learning describe it as. This is the basic idea. Let's just say that you've got your, your test coming up, right? And you got your book and you got all these highlights that you made in the book. And then you've got your notes over here, right? Boom, boom, boom. And you're reviewing that. That's how most people study. You're just reviewing your highlights, you're reviewing your notes, and you feel a sense of fluency. You feel a sense of connection. You feel like you got it, right? You're reviewing this and like, yeah, 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 that's easy, no problem, got it. Then the test comes and you didn't get it as well as you wanted to, right? Benedict says, this is the number one reason why people struggle on tests. It's not anxiety, it's not whatever else you attribute it to, it's this, the fluency illusion. What we need to do is introduce what researchers call desirable difficulties. We need to make it harder. So the idea in this scenario would be take the, your books and take your notes, close the book, get rid of the notes, and then test yourself. They go through a bunch of different ways you can add desirable difficulties. Let's talk about testing yourself. You close your book, you get rid of your notes, and you ask yourself, what's the most important thing from that chapter? Can you write it down? Can you reflect on it? Oh man, that feels disfluent. You pop the bubble of this fluency illusion, all of a sudden it's hard, and that difficulty is really, really good for you. As you, the technical... Uh, way that they describe testing is active retrieval. As you actively attempt to retrieve information from your brain, you, somewhat surprisingly, strengthen the actual memory trace. As you're trying to pull it out, you actually make it stronger. It's really, really cool. And you know what you don't know. You're not just scanning this, oh yeah, I got it. No, you didn't get it. You couldn't remember it. You couldn't articulate it. Test yourself. Huge way to add desirable difficulty. Another way to do it is to teach other people, right? That's a good way to test your fluency illusion. If you really know this stuff so well, go explain it to someone. Like they're five years old is how Barbara Oakley describes it, citing reddit.com. Go teach somebody what you know. That, again, is a great way to strengthen this so we can turn that upside down on test day, right? And then another way to add desirable difficulty is to mix it up. Check out the note where I talk about that some more. But fascinating research on how varying your practice increases performance. Basic idea here is you want to introduce desirable difficulties. Do not get caught up in the fluency illusion. Quit thinking that highlighting and reviewing your notes is the best way to learn. It's not. Have fun with that. Have another awesome day. See you. Isn't it a bit odd that we went from math to science to history, but somehow missed the class on how to live? For some wacky reason, Optimal Living 101 never made the schedule. Of course, it's too late to go back and change that, and you're too busy to read full time to catch up. Yet, if you're like us, you're all about optimizing your life and actualizing your potential. So imagine this, imagine having someone read the best books on optimal living and pulling out the big ideas that can truly change your life. You know, those sections you asterisk and underline and mark all up. Then imagine that guy, me, connecting those ideas to other great books and helping you apply them to your life today. Well, that's what I do with something we call Philosopher's Notes, where I break down each great book into a simple six-page PDF, 20-minute MP3, and 10-minute Philosopher's Notes TV episode. Then imagine me taking the absolute best big ideas from those great books and sharing them with you in fun, inspiring, super practical, optimal living 101 classes on stuff like Purpose 101, Confidence 101, Business 101, Meditation 101, that sort of thing. You've got a personal trainer? I'm kind of like your personal philosopher. Ancient wisdom plus modern science plus common sense plus virtue 
plus mastery plus fun. That's what our optimized membership program is all about. We'd love to have you join us. Check us out at brianjohnson.me slash join.